so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi! Whoa! And look at where we're at! Yeah, today we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this place is awesome. Yeah, it's an aquarium. Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah, it's so cool because they have so many marine animals here. Yeah, marine animals are animals that live in the water. Well, shall we go explore? Let's go. Whoa. Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here. Whoa, they're all back there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, look up here. Looks like a list of different types of fish. Oh, look at that one. That one's called a yellow tang. Yeah, and it's all yellow. <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang. <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one. It says purple tang. Ooh, looks like it's purple and yellow. Whoa, Ooh, and that one way over there. Whoa, powder blue tang. Wow. Yeah, it's blue and yellow. Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? It's so far back there. Oh, it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there. Yeah, an orange, white, and black fish. <gasps> I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah. That's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool. See you later, fish. <laughs> Whoa, more fish. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah, a zebra. Wow, cool. These are the zebras of the ocean. <laughs> see you later, clownfish. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, that looked like a puffer fish to me. Whoa, actually, it's a porcupine puffer. Yeah, looks really smooth right now. But if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out and its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> Whoa, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks for the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Oh, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first, let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are 
orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Oh, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Oh, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Ooh, and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Ooh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah, us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow! Whoa, look at all these tanks! Wow, this is so cool! Ooh, and look at this one! It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah! Do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing? That is actually a sea anemone. Oh, and do you see those rock looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do? <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa, oh look. You see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah. Coral is actually really, really important because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Oh, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Oh, oh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa. So cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa, do you see that fish way over there? Whoa, yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old. So it's gonna get way bigger. Whoa, whoa, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa. Whoa, look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are Paku. Yeah, Pakus to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually they eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah, you see how big they are? Whoa. And actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Whoa! And I have a big treat for us. Yeah, these Pakus, I bet, are very hungry and we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa! Look at them go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, they must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. Whoa, whoa, 
<laughs> don't worry, everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here's some more. <laughs> wow. Aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Lippy, good job. All right, see you again. <laughs>
It's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans. That was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please, <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table. And he also said, thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> Oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out! <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look, it's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says, water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, step number two, hands wet. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three. Rub hands with soap. And because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and whoa, <laughs> ten. <laughs> whoa, and because we don't want soapy hands, <laughs> we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next, we turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Whoa. Look, it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah, <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft, soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa, let's try some tomatoes. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa, those tomatoes have so much flavor. <laughs> They're kind of salty and they certainly are juicy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Oh, and look, <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, 
Hello, trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, <laughs> and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but this celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and kind of tastes a little sweet. Hmm. <laughs> I like that celery. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, and check it out. It's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that was so tasty. Yeah. The orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Check it out! <laughs> he moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go play. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing! <laughs> Look, there's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing. <laughs> Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Whoa, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. Nice <laughs> to meet you too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But what game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10 and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me! Hooray! I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. Oh, Hans, you found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 
Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I found you! <laughs> you found me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun! It was! <laughs> oh, well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Uh, bye! Bye! Was... Bye, Hans! <laughs> bye bye. It was nice to meet you! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Blippi. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome! Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah, I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look 
at him go! Whoa! <laughs> There's one right there! Hey, butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me! So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism, just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay. I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? <laughs> yeah, it's so tasty. <laughs> Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. <laughs> then you go this way, flap your wings. Yep because we want to make some honey. In the middle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way, flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, 
That was awesome! Good job! Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look! Hey! Look at what it is! It's a crayfish! Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here! Hey! How are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish! Hey, fish! Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, look over here! Some giant grasshoppers! Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting! These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh! and an axolotl, check this out. Whoa, see that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Whoa, <laughs> check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know but this is a turtle wow hey how are you turtle are you having a good day are you having fun yeah <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun <laughs> see you later Whoa. it's kind of dark in here but that's okay this is a green iguana can you see it Whoa, it's just relaxing, having a good time. <laughs> All right, see you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> Hey! See? It kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool! Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three! <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Whoa. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. <laughs> see, these plants, that means it eats plants. <laughs> and plants only, it doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> it's foot is way bigger than mine. 
It's even way bigger than two of my feet. Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa! This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa! I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few tech things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm going to do the same, but it's going to grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, watch, I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. <laughs> it's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Pretty fun. Whoa! Look at this area. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Whee. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, look in there, let's go. Ooh. 
Welcome! Come on in! Hey, look! It's a little tree house! Here I go! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights! Here we go! Whee! Whoa! <laughs> This is so much fun. Oh, the noise room. Come on. Whoa. This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm going to do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Tempo! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors, and those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. 
What about big numbers? Yeah! Check this out! This is a big number! 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey! I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah. This is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon. And we call it moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. <gasps> Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. <gasps> look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity and they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Look! I just made all those things light up! Whoa! This is fun! Whoa! It's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa! Hey, Mom! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> just kidding. It was just a mirror. Come over here. I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh! Look at this! Whoa! <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, this is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to, to lift up this weight compared to hold down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. All right, now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa. Hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello. This is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello. Hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. 
Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Today we're at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is gonna be awesome. I think today you and I should learn about some animals. Whoa, look at this place. Oh, those are kind of like raindrops. Hello. Okay, let's go over here. Ooh, we're almost to the top! Whoa! Yeah, let's go! This is gonna be so much fun! Oh, did you see that? I just used two fingers on the back of the head in the back of this Russian sturgeon. Oh, it looks like he liked it. Whoa, it feels so cool. It's hard, but it also has kind of a layer of a slippery sludge on it. <laughs> it helps keep all the parasites away. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? I just touched the stingray nice and gently with my two fingers on its back. Whoa, okay, let's, uh, let's touch another one. Oh, here's one right over here. Oh, oh hey. Whoa, <laughs> that's silly. Ooh, come over here. Whoa, there's so many of them. Whoa, look at that one, it's just resting on the ground. That's a different kind, huh? Oh, here comes one. Whoa, hey, I'll describe what it feels like. It kind of feels, oh, here's one more. Whoa. Yeah, I really know what it feels like now. It feels like a wet gummy bear. <laughs> oh, so slippery and soft at the same time, but firm as well. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Whoa! Oh, hey! Hey, Blippi, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here looking at my favorite fish, the paddlefish. Ooh, paddlefish? That's pretty cool. It is. Well, see you later. Oh, see you later, Blippi. Whoa, this is pretty cool being behind the scenes of the aquarium. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. 
Whoa! Oh, hey! So many cool workers here! Whoa! Look at this! We're on top of an aquarium! Whoa! Look at all that water! And those fish down there! Whoa! Okay, follow me! Whoa! Look at this room! Whoa! There's so much scuba gear in here! Tanks! Wetsuits! Whoa! Okay, we need to take this fish to the sharks! I bet they're really hungry! Come on! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> okay! Whoa! Look at this! Whoever drew that is a good artist! It shows the different parts of a shark! Yeah! Like the gills! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Look! Alright, we did it! Here you go! Hi! Thank you! Yeah. You're welcome! What's your name? My name's Danny! Oh, this is Danny, and what are you doing here? So, we're here with Cassie, and she's actually feeding our big sharks right now! Oh, look! I see a fish down there! Look! Whoa, so why, why is she holding a fish on a pole? So that's how we get the food down to our sharks. If they're all pretty low in the water column, she needs to be able to have a really long tool to get the food down to their mouth. Okay, so they hold the pole, which has a fish on the end, and then the sharks come up and have some supper. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like fun. Whoa, those fish look big. How big is that fish that she's feeding the sharks? That's a blue fish. That's about this big. So, what kind of fish did I bring up? So, you brought up some herring, which is the big fish in here. Okay. And then some caitlin, which is the little fish in here. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Hey, well, this is pretty cool seeing someone else do it, but hey, can I feed some sharks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Just make sure you have your gloves. <laughs> okay, alright. Let's put the gloves on so then my hands don't smell like fish for weeks. <laughs> okay, alright, I got my gloves on. Uh, oh, there we go. One glove, two gloves. Alright, so now what do I do? So we'll just take this fish bucket that you brought up from our kitchen and we'll head over here. Okay, alright. Okay. We'll head over to our feeding platform. Okay. And as soon as we walk up, the fish will be all ready for us. Okay. Whoa! Look! I'm on the platform. Whoa, look! There's no barriers between me and the fish. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. All right, here we go. Can I throw one at a time? Yeah, whatever you want. Either one at a time or all of it at once. All right. Enjoy this. Whee! Whoa, look at them go. They're really enjoying this food. Whoa, look at all of them. They're swarming to the top. Because they know that I'm throwing all this yummy food to them. Greta? Hey, Greta! Hey! 
Ooh, what does Greta like to eat? Greta loves lettuce, but she also enjoys cucumbers, bell peppers, and even sometimes carrots. Ooh, lettuce, bell peppers, cucumbers, and carrots? Sounds like Greta's really healthy. <laughs> Can I try feeding Greta? Yeah. Okay. All right. How do I do it? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. The whole leaf, you just pop it in front of her. There you go, Greta. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? It's trying to. Should I throw another one? Oh, sure. Go. There we go. Sometimes you get them from me. Okay. All right. Ooh, Greta's hungry. Here you go, Greta. Yum! Here you go. Oh, Greta is really big. Do you know how much Greta weighs? She is a little bit over a hundred pounds. Oh wow, a hundred pounds. Wow. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, let's do a big piece. Let's watch Greta eat a whole piece. Here you go. Oh, it's right there! Yeah! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That's a big piece of lettuce! Hello! Hey! Hello! <laughs> Come on! Since we just touched some animals, I think we should use this restroom and wash our hands. Let's go! Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Whoa, look! Whoa, look! This restroom is underwater. And this restroom actually won the best restroom in America. Whoa, you can wash your hands right here and look at shark, sharks and fish. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I wash my hands. Now I'll go dry them. You enjoy the view. Okay, let's go down the escalator to the deep ocean. <laughs> Come on. Like we're underwater. Look this way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I present to you the deep ocean exhibit. So this is a sea lion. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, look, look. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Whoa. And there's actually a seal in here as well. Let's go try and find it. Oh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Hello. See that right here? This is a seal. Hi. So there's three sea lions in here and one seal. And the easiest way to tell the difference is this. I'll show you. So if you're a sea lion, you use your front flippers to basically walk like this. <laughs> but seals don't do that. Seals, oh, hello. 
Oh, you're curious, huh? <laughs> so curious. Whoa. So that's a sea lion. Mm -hmm. So it walks with its flippers. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually really smart animals. See how it's following me? I'll try and change directions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and seals, they don't walk like that. You know, this is a sea lion. Sea lion and a seal. They don't have that much power right here, and it's kind of short and stubby. So this is what they do. So they just kind of waddle. That's silly. Wow, what magnificent creatures. Check them out a little bit more. We're behind the scenes at the aquarium, and we're gonna meet some penguins. Come on. Okay. Let's walk nice and slow, and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Okay, and what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. Also, can see colors really well in the rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay, they're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys, and just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay, huh, interesting. It's pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. Okay. And we have 32 of them here in the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> hey, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Hey, are you ready? felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the gam touch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> oh, hello! This is a little blue penguin. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. Whoa, 
And this board has the sizes of different penguins. Oh, like the penguin I met today, an African penguin. Whoa, and they just keep getting bigger. Whoa, whoa, look how big they're getting. Whoa, look at how big this penguin is. Whoa, four feet tall, 1.3 meters high? Jeez, look how big it is. Oh, whoa, that's a really big penguin. Whoa, look, a toucan. <laughs> Do you see its beak? <laughs> Kinda looks like the shape of a banana. A really colorful banana. <laughs> There's another bird over here, come on. Whoa, hello. <laughs> a colorful parrot. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Whoa, looks like it's yellow, blue, and on its head is green. <laughs> hey! Hey, there's another animal right over here I want to show you. Come on! Whoa, look! Look at this animal! It's moving really slow. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a sloth. Let's act like a sloth together. Hello! How are you? Ah! 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 <laughs> That's funny. All right, hello! These are otters, and they're so cute. Look at them go underwater. Whoa. I bet they can hold their breath for a really long time. Whoa. They're so fast. Whoa. <laughs> they kind of look like water cats, <laughs> but they're not kitty cats. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, another one. Whoa! <laughs> cool! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all these creatures at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation. So today, you and I are gonna learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing? Yeah, sound? Whoa, and speed? Whoa, slow, fast! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, come on! <laughs> what are you doing, come on! Come here, <laughs> come on! Hello, whoa, check it out! This is a massive guitar, whoa, cool! Yeah! Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah! Yeah! Guitars are so cool! Ooh, and when you strum the strings, make some noise. Hey, let's listen! All right, here we go. Tighten this up. out of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. Yeah. And when I move it up, it'll tighten the strings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now listen to how it sounds. Whoa, higher 
pitch! Oh, cool, let's keep exploring. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, another guitar right here and more strings. Pretty low, but watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. And watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. You can actually see the wavelengths, basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Whoa! <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a guitar. I just played the guitar over there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. Whoa! I think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go! is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new, or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact discs, CDs, yeah. Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right, ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, there we go. <gasps> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Wow, cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we gonna build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa. A rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right. I am very excited. Let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use is this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So 
Let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. To get through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here, here's one wheel and tire. Here we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. Looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're going to put the axle through. Okay. Get through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction. And then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> so we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit, so when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect. All right, well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're going to attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step or we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. Ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set. Go. go. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh wow. Well, sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah, so maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one it worked. again. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. Wow, this is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right, I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you those won. worked? Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye bye. See this car? Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both but I need to pick one. Let's pick orange, okay? And then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah, oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> yeah, all right. Now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones, and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, 
looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. Oh, whoa, look! Wow, a racetrack! Whoa, then look at these! You can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go. On your marks. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's gonna win. There they go, three, two, one, go! We did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower, that's speed. Whoa, cool, yeah. Whoa, now we're on the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green, we have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Kind of sounds like musical instruments. Yeah, when I hit these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> Great idea! Let's hit that bass line and let's make some music with these tubes! Woo! Woo! Wasn't that so much fun? Yeah! I love science! It was so much fun learning about sounds with you. Did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing. Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself. Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Whoa. Today we are at the Florida Aquarium, and this is going to be so much fun. Let's go. Whoa. This area, you can actually touch stingrays with two fingers, okay? Come on. I didn't quite get him. Oh, here he is. I touched him. And he's really soft. And it kind of has a little mucus type of feel, really slippery.
Teko, you want to dance? And did you see that stingray? Wow, there's so many tropical fish in here. Oh, like that little guy. Okay, let's go down here. Whoa, there's hundreds of them. Look at the angelfish. No, this is the tail. Ooh, this is a black and yellow fish. Hello. Wow. Keep, keep going. Let's see a little fun. Oh, what's in here? Whoa. Look, they kind of look like rocks. See those? But they're actually alive. Okay. I think it's time for pictures. Did you see its tail? They have really long tails. Let's go on this side. There's a big shark. I have a better place to see all these fish at. Hurry, let's go quick. This is a really big aquarium. Oh, it's coming close. Look at that one. After seeing all different types of sea creatures under the aquarium, I got to go on top of the aquarium and do something really special. Whoa! Look at this place! We are on top of the coral reef at the Florida Aquarium. This is a little behind the scenes for you. I've never been on top of an aquarium before. Oh, look at who it is. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Eric, and you're Blippi. Yeah, wow. I'm Blippi. Uh, so we are visiting. Yeah, what do you do here? Oh, uh, I'm a curator here at the Florida Aquarium. Okay. We're right on top of the coral reef, and curators take care of animals, and we give care, and it means everything from round the clock health care to, guess what? what? Feeding time. Ooh, yeah. I love food. I love food too. It's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is? It is. It's lunch for the sharks, it's lunch for our big turtle flip you're going to meet for all of the thousands of fish that are in our environment here called the Florida Coral Reef. Woohoo! All right, I think it's time. Let's go. Flippy, we're heading over to the feed station right now, and let me introduce you to Alyssa. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how about you? Good. 
So we are about to be feeding the deep side of our reef tank. Okay. We got a lot of different fish here, but we have a lot of different fish in the reef that like to eat. So right there. Take a good sniff. That's some fresh Ooh. fish there. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> nice big mackerel. Ooh. So Maybe what we'll have you do is put on some gloves. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> it's super simple. Take a big scoop of fish. Okay. And you're just gonna throw it out into the reef. You'll see a bunch of fish swim out. All in the form. in here exactly? What? So right there we have some squid, uh -huh. we have some herring, we have clam and night smelt. It's oh, a whole mix. Can I sneak sizes. a little for myself? Yeah. yeah lunch is not going to come fast. <laughs> All right. Where to? Over this way. Yep. Right field. That's a sports turn. Yeah. That looks tasty. All that right. looks like some good squid and mackerel there. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, Bolivia, you're doing a great job. Now let's go down below and see what it looks like to be a fish underwater watching all that food come down. Okay, Ready? let's go. Let's go. Alyssa, take us from here. After feeding all of the sea creatures from above the aquarium, Eric took me back down below so we could watch all of the sea creatures eat all of the food I just fed them. It was so spectacular. And then I went on over to the wetlands exhibit. Whoa! Look! A duck! It's so cute! Do you see it? Quack, 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 quack. Can you make the sound of a duck? Quack, quack, quack! This area is where they have the otters. Look! Whoa! Look at him do backflips! This place is so beautiful! Oh! Whoa! A python! A python. Whoa, look at how big it is! Jeez, that's scary. Come on! Ooh, some cute birds over here! These are spoonbills. And they're white and pink! Look, he's looking for food! fish are so big. Whoa, get really close. Can you see it? <sighs> Such a big fish. And here's some more fish. Go up really close to the glass. Let's see what else they have here. I had such a great time at the Florida Aquarium. Next time you're in Tampa, Florida, you can go check out some sea life. We are at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are gonna see some awesome animals. Let's go! Got my member's card. All right, okay, come on. This is gonna be so much fun. Yay! 
Here we go! Hey! This is Cindy. And what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. Oh, Boris is so pretty. Is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. So this is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point of Science Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So what are we gonna, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so. this is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up, Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here I go. And he's gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa. Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants nests and termite bounds, and then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah, so Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life, and when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out hey. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> Pretty good. 
What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. Okay. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. Okay. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Hey, here we go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. Huh. And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right, let's do this one right here actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. Oh, it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's okay. take the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what? Let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay. It's kind of like a search and find because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it okay so spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun <laughs> okay 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 there's a little bit more let's put some right on this ledge Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let them out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures, and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch, but with only one finger, okay? Whoa, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello, hi, little guy. And hey, little girl, hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. Okay, ready? Woo! Whee! 
<laughs> it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. They're really hard. It's so cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and... All these animals. Yeah. A horse. A poison dart frog. Some more horses. Ooh, a polar bear. We saw one of those today. A zebra. Did you see the zebra? Ooh, a pig. Ooh, tiger. Ooh, an anteater. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on! But first we need to pick our favorite animal. We gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait! The zebra? Hmm, I don't know if I wanna ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse. Polar bear. Hey, horse. So much fun. Okay. This animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. Oh. All right, I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around, as well as go up and down. Whoa! Hey, horsey! Whoa! Look, this poison dart frog is the color yellow. are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> but Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> so I think we should explore the port, but first I need some safety equipment. <laughs> I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? That is a crane and it's so big. I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air. Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa! 
check it out. These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're too wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're too wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see, 16 times two. 32 wheels and tires! Whoa! Good job! Whoa, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello! Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna sit down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa! Look at how high we are! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so cool! So we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards or meters. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs to boats to pallets to, yeah, so many things. Whoa, and come check this out. Whoa, look at those big cables. This is the hoist room. Whoa, they're so big, look. Ooh, and this room is the electrical room. Whoa, look at all these. Whoa. Hey, look, there's another worker. <laughs> Looks like he's just working. Hey. <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders, and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa, that is a big, powerful engine. Whoa, look at how big that hook is. <laughs> Whoa, watch out, it's swinging. Whoa, did you See how big that is? Wow! That's what they use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This is a massive ship. 
Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa, those are some big logs. And there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10,444, 10,445, 10,446, 10,000, Oh no, I lost track. <laughs> okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. <laughs> all right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. This is a big boat. <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those park boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. <laughs> that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water. And that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. And then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat, nice and slow so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat, so they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you wanna make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Hmm? Whoa, did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are gonna roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Whoa, that was awesome. Now it's time to scrape. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! <laughs> that looks yummy, but not for me. <laughs> Whoa! All right, nice and clean. Yeah! Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out. There's so many. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I 
P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Blippi.